Here are five Ollie Watch basics once you have your board installed and ready to go. Hold the right button or the alarm button for a couple seconds to turn on the Bluetooth. You'll see the lap symbol flashing. That means it's ready to connect. Follow the instructions in the Ollie Watch app. When your device is listed, tap on it to connect. Make sure the pair codes match up, confirm, and listen for the welcome message. You can also quickly tap on the watch a few times to enable the Bluetooth. Just like your regular Casio watch, press the mode button to scroll through the different faces. There are 15 faces in total that get preloaded with every Ollie watch. The hold for home feature lets you jump after the clock from any one of the faces. Simply hold the mode button for a couple seconds and it'll jump right back to the clock face. Pick a favorite face that you want to jump to easily without having to scroll through the entire list of faces. Here I have the step counter selected and then on the clock screen I just hold the light button and it jumps right to my favorite. Faces can be fully customized on your Ollie watch. Pick your favorite, disable the faces that you don't think you'll be using. You can also change the sequence in which they appear. Even if a face is disabled, some of its features will be available through the app. And always remember to send to watch to commit the changes. One of the best ways to extend your watch's battery life is to enable the auto sleep, which turns off the screen after a few seconds. Here I've set the auto sleep period to 5 seconds. So after 5 seconds of inactivity, the screen will turn off. You press any button to turn the screen back on. You can also use a tilt gesture to wake the screen. You can also make the navigation a bit more dynamic if you enable animations through the device settings. You'll see a little scrolling animation now between the different faces. Not super useful but kind of cool. This covers some of the basics with the Ollie Watch. Thanks for tuning in!